Aloha everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Alani Disney's Resort in Hawaii. We're gonna be going to the Makahiki character breakfast that wasn't open last time we were here. We're gonna enjoy some food and also chip and nail. <laughs> and then we're gonna spend the afternoon at the resort having fun in the sun, at the beach, at the lazy river, in the pool. So how about you come with us? On this, On adventure. this adventure. Another beautiful day in Oahu at Kolina. And today we're gonna start things off getting breakfast. Right down there. Last time we went to Makahiki, the character buffet was not open, so it's back and I'm ready. outside and get your photo with Mickey. I feel like I'm not ready to meet Mickey. I just woke up. <laughs> Do I look okay? You look amazing. There he is. Hi. <laughs> hey Mickey, how you doing? Chilling here in Hawaii? Um, oh yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do here? Surfing? <laughs> Surfing? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What, what's your favorite food? Yeah. Cheese, cheese, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> cheese. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are we gonna do a photo? Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, you. this is Castaway K. Have you been there? Yeah. What do you like better, here or there? Both. Both yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. Yes, we'll have a lot of food. I'm, I promise. Fun. Wow. So they give you this ticket and you present it to them and they, they take the photos for you. They'll also take photos on your phone. And I guess the photos are gonna come to our table. I guess. I don't are know. Are they printed? I don't know. Good so question. We'll find out. We have no idea. It's our first time here. That was so fun. That was a, such a fun interaction. Yeah. I love Mickey. Who does not love Mickey? <laughs> it's like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired, I but know. he woke me up. Seriously. All right, head right down here. Our okay. fabulous chef Minnie is going to be cooking you guys. Oh, very breakfast. cool. Thank you. So we're not only getting a photo with Mickey, but we're also getting a photo with Chef Minnie, who's cooking up the magic here at Makahiki. Hey, Minnie. What are you cooking for us today? All the good stuff. Oh, you actually have all. Oh, of all course. the ingredients. We got eggs. Oh, we got the. <laughs> I didn't know that you were actually cooking out here while you were taking photos. Yeah, she's doing it all. <laughs> what, what's your favorite in, in Minnie's Kitchen? Probably the, uh, Probably waffles. the waffles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, heck yeah. I kind of like the way how this red... Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> you're my favorite. You're my favorite. <laughs> Do you help Minnie cook all the food? Yeah. I think he helps eat the food, is yeah, what's going on. The food. That's true. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's okay. We won't take it. Don't worry. It's you bring it back to the treehouse, you shove it in your. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you give it to Dale, too? Or do you eat it all? Oh, 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 there we go. He puts it all oh, in the right pocket. Oh, right That's a small pocket, That's though. That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> Put it underneath the hat. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> so obviously, they have the best character walking around and talking to you. But I think it's interesting that like, first thing you stop and you take a few photos of the characters. I like that because you're not like all full and stuff from eating. You get to meet them first. So there's still not a buffet here. It's still, you order and they bring you the food like a traditional restaurant. I wonder if they're ever gonna reopen the buffet because they have the whole buffets over there right in front of where Minnie's cooking up the menu. The menu looks pretty good. There's like a good selection of like regular breakfast plates and also like, you know, with a Hawaiian twist. 
or two? I don't know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> it's all about you. Someone's yeah. trying to perform music. Say. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why is that gonna make me cry? <laughs> that was so sweet. Disney really knows how to bring like, Jeez. yeah, the magic. <laughs> it's like 8 a.m. <laughs> it's too early for this. It's a three-course breakfast menu, but you actually don't get to choose the first two courses. It's basically some stuff from the bakery and some fruit and berries, and then you get a choice of one of these entrees. We're having a hard time picking which entree we want to get. I will say, I, I've i never been here for the buffet, but I feel like I'd much rather the buffet because I want to try a bunch of everything. If you want extra stuff, I think it's like $7 extra or something. So if we're gonna get like an entree and then we're probably gonna get a side of Mickey waffles and maybe a side of something else just to like have a variety of stuff. Yeah. So the price is gonna add up. You're right, I wish it was a buffet, but so here's a look at the fruit course that you get with your breakfast, and here's a look at the baked good course that you get with your breakfast. All of the non-alcoholic drinks are included, so you could get juice, you could get coffee, you could get tea, milk, whatever you want. I decided to get an iced coffee and a pog juice. And then I just wanted to also mention the straws that they have here all throughout the resort. They're actually not paper, they're not plastic, they are biodegradable straws. I don't know what they're made out of, but they like they look like they're plastic. They're awesome. I was gonna get myself a pog juice because when here, you gotta get yourself a pog juice. But then she mentioned that they also have mimosas. And I was like, do they have pog mimosas? <laughs> and they do. So I'm gonna try this delightful looking pog mimosa. Question is, how many of these am I going to drink? Yeah, they're not unlimited. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> how you doing? Good? Yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, he's got a mimosa. Yeah. He's doing good. Yeah, some pog <laughs> juice in there. You like pog juice? Yeah? Love that. Hi. <laughs> You're my favorite. Don't tell your brother. But you told Chip that he was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Why would you say that? I didn't. He's lying. He's lying to you. Aww. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I did say that. He doesn't watch YouTube. He'll, he'll never know. Do they get YouTube in Trios? I don't think so. And now I'd like to thank Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Upside allows you to get cash back when you shop, eat, or get gas. You open up the Upside app and it shows you restaurants, gas stations, and stores in your area that offer cash back. It's very easy. You claim an offer, you check in at the location, you scan your receipt, within days you have your cash back. You could cash out any time to your bank account, to PayPal, or even to an e-gift card to Amazon and more. We use the Upside app a lot when we go out to eat because between Kitra and I, we have a hard time deciding where to go. And the great thing about this app is it usually suggests a place that we wouldn't otherwise think of. And the best part is we save money by trying someplace new. 
get started right now. Download the free Upside app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Use our promo code ORDINARY to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. The Upside app has a 4.8 user rating in the App Store and users are earning over a million dollars every week cash back. Don't miss out. And now, back to the adventure. So they just came over and showed us the photos that we took with Mickey and it is an upcharge. It's $35 for the digital download and then I think if you want it printed out, one of them printed out, it's like 20 bucks or something. So we actually ended up buying the digital download, something that we normally don't do. I honestly feel like it should be included with the breakfast, but we we're feeling uh, spontaneous today and I, I feel like the photos turned out really good. I've been drinking the pog juice and I was like, sure, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll buy the digital yeah, download. we'll just keep giving Peter mimosas and then he'll buy us a bunch of stuff today. <laughs> Have you had any of the fruit yet? No, but it looks good. Nothing beats pineapple when you're in Hawaii. It just tastes better here for some reason. That is true. <laughs> By the way, there's a bunch of different baked goods in here. I was eating the croissant and it's very freshly baked. One of my favorite things about Hawaii is all the bird noises. Like when you first land and you can hear the chickens and you can hear all the birds chirping. It's like a core memory. Like, yeah. like we came, as soon as we got off the plane, I heard it. And I was like, it just reminded me. Whenever I'm walking around Alani, I'm like, is that piped in or is it real? I know, I'm like, is it a real noise or is it just fake Disney magic? But I think it's real, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he ate it! <laughs> now my napkin's on my lap where oh. it's supposed to be. Join the party. Okay, fine. <laughs> I know we haven't even gotten our food yet, but this is like the best character dieting I think I've ever done. Normally, like, I'm like, eh, I, I could skip on character dieting, but this has been so much fun. For my entree, I got the Hawaiian style Loco Moco. This looks a lot different than the Loco Moco that we got last time we were in Hawaii. And you could get your eggs any way you want. This tastes totally different than the Loco Moco that I got at Rainbow Drive-In. I think it's because of the fried rice and the gravy has like a really oniony flavor to it and it probably gets like a four out of five. For my entree, I got the Kahlua pig omelet. Yeah, I, well, I haven't had it yet, so I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna eat it and we're gonna find out. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the salt bay? Salt bay? <laughs> thank you, thank you for, for seasoning. You gonna season mine? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I've had it other other places. It's like fancy local local, right? Yeah, yeah. Living the bougie life here. Pinky's up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so that my omelet came with the choice of like a side. You could get like potatoes, rice, fried rice recommended to me to get the fried rice. This was also one of the top recommendations from our server. And look at, you could see the Kahlua pork oh. pouring out the side there. Oh, see all that? Gotta be honest with you, I don't usually get omelets, but the Kahlua pork is what sold me. And if you like Kahlua pork, get this, because it, it is like stuffed <laughs> with that stuff. The fried rice is interesting. It's less like a Chinese fried rice, it feels more Hawaiian in a way. It's like sweeter. This whole dish, I'd give it four out of five beaters. I don't know how we're gonna finish all this food because we also got some sides. Which are just basically the entrees from the main menu. It's $7 extra and they give you just a little bit smaller of a portion. So I got the buttermilk pancakes. And this comes with a macadamia nut, Tahitian vanilla sauce, caramel, warm Vermont maple syrup. Our server really sold us on this. She's like, you gotta get it. I think like if you order this as your main entree, you get more than one pancake. <laughs> He's gotta get the perfect shot. Just making fun of me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God, there's actually chunks of macadamia in there. Wow, was not expecting that. <laughs> Is this your favorite? Yeah. He likes oh, the nuts. Yeah. Oh, lick, licking the plate, yeah. That sauce is amazing. I love the crunch of the macadamia nut and the pancake itself is actually really, really good. Really fluffy, it's a nice pancake. 
This is delicious. It is very, very sweet though, so keep that in mind. But I'd probably give it like a four and a half out of five. Like, if you want a nice sweet breakfast, I would choose this one. <laughs> What's your name? Peter. Peter. Hey, Peter. It's always good to celebrate long, you know? Yeah. You're before, during, and after. That's true. <laughs> it's my birthday month. It's yeah. your birthday month. <laughs> the month of November. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enjoy. How awesome is that? For my side, I ended up getting the Hawaiian sweet bread French toast. This is guava sherbet cream inside it. It looks amazing. How decadent does that look? Okay, that's enough sugar. Hey, I, I put all the syrup. You give me a syrup, I'm gonna put it on them. So that's the guava that's stuffed in between this French toast. They told us that this is a new version of the French toast. They used to have like an old version that wasn't stuffed. That guava just gives it like an extra level of sweetness. Is this better than like the Tonga toast? Debatable, but it's very good. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five Peters. I would get this again, 100%. Question is, is it better than the pancake? I'm gonna have to try and find out. Well, that might be better. I think the pancake's better. Both are amazing. Though. Are you gonna take Kitra's place? She went to the bathroom and you're gonna... I mean, I'm sure she doesn't want any more of this pancake, so you could, yeah, eat. yeah, sit down. You could, uh, yeah. Oh, she's back. What was he doing? He was gonna steal your seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, it is a shame that you can't get a lunch or breakfast over by the water where Ama Ama is. This is a nice, cool area. There's like a koi pond. You can watch the fish. There's like waterfalls. It's pretty nice. You like the fish? Yeah. I love this place. Today is our first day at the pool, and we got to go get our wristbands. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, pink is for today, and okay. uh, blue will be for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. For you guys. Thank Have you so much. Day. Thanks. Hey guys. Aww. Aww. Remember how fun that was? This is the Rainbow Reef, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's so much fun. You get to snorkel with all these different kind of tropical fish. Yeah, they have a premium experience where you feed the fish, and we were gonna do that today, but we showed up at noon like noobs. Yeah, it was all sold out. There's like four or five feedings throughout the day, and she told us that you gotta show up like bright and early to get on the list, so we unfortunately didn't, but maybe we could do it on another day. We're trying to find a place to put our towels while we go into the Lazy River. You gotta claim your spot. <laughs> Space is limited. Oh my God. Is it cold? Oh, cool. yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It is kind of cold. How excited are you to be back in the Lazy River? Very. Me too. Now we just gotta find a tube. That's true. We're all tubed up and ready to party. Right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, we're back in the Lazy River to I never thought I'd see the day. It is a little chilly in here. I don't want to go under any waterfalls today. <laughs> no promises. Lazy rivers are like my perfect relaxation. Me too. We're the type where we could go to like the craziest water park in the world and we'll just care about the lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that says about us, but... It says that we're lazy. We could agree on that. <laughs> agree on that.
a gecko on a tree. Chilling, living that Hawaiian life. Just me with my Insta360. <laughs> <laughs> Just a casual, casual stroll in the lazy river. <laughs> Our room is right up there. I feel like we got a really good room this time. Amazing view. And look at this, there's like barely anybody in the Lazy River, it's freaking awesome. We were worried that it was gonna be super crowded, but it doesn't feel that crowded. Pitcher was worried that someone was gonna push her into the waterfall. Don't, I'm serious, don't. I'm just getting that action shot, no, no. no. You don't want to go into the waterfall? I don't want to get my hair wet. We're going to a luau later. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this off. <laughs> oh no. I forgot about this part. I forgot about this part. Cold. One thing I didn't notice last time we were here is there's various like animals that you can see in the rock if you look at them. I'll see if I can show you a couple. So right here is a whale, right there is the eye, and then this is the mouth, and then if you, you could see the whole thing and it goes down to the tail. It's like a little fish, or something's here. What is that? It's like it? his arm, and there's an eye, right? Maybe. <laughs> Wait, here's a fish. There's some fish right here. These are more obvious. You can see them carved. Oh, like you could see them carved into the rock. This is why Disney is the best because they put all these little details in oh, what that, that you would there? never notice. Oh yeah, uh, that looks like a crab or something, right? Yeah. You could see its claws and its feet. It's funny because on the Tree of Life, you expect to see this stuff. And I know Joe Brody was involved in this, but I I just never looked for it here. Yeah. Now I'm seeing it all over the place. It's everywhere. Yeah. Right there. Oh, it's a bird. bird. It's a bird. Wow. Let me use my point right there. It's a beak. Okay. Not. We can see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, clap. Okay. Presentation is over. Yeah. How did we not see these things before? way over there it almost looks like a frog or something holding that rock up wow now i want to go around this whole rock pyramid and just like find all the animals so this is where i first noticed it right above the menahune if you look there's like a fish <laughs> right there. there with the pointer there's a fish do you see the fish yeah i see it yeah wow that just goes to show you that they could be anywhere they could be anywhere where you at least and how many are there? What is this? I don't know. I see there's an eye here and it looks like some... You have, to use, you have, you, you have to use your pointer or like I'm not going to be able to see it. Or something? Okay. Yeah, that could be no? something. So we finally got water shoes and I've been saying how much I've been enjoying them. Oh my god, all morning. Oh, I love my water shoes. They feel so good. I can't believe it took us this long to get them. And then what happened? I get out of the, the lazy river and this is what happened. <laughs> what is going on? Is it that I got too small of water shoes or did my like, toenails break? I don't, I got the same size as my normal shoes. I feel so bad for you because you were so happy. Oh. And like, I'm sorry. Oh my god. What? Your favorite. It's right there. Cool. Kitra loves jellyfish. 
As you can see, there's a jellyfish right there, the jellyfish right there, and there's a bunch of fish up there. I'm sorry about your shoes, but at least we got to see the jellyfish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really do feel bad for you because I'm loving mine. You know, the last time I was some place where there was water, I slipped and broke my ankle, so I'm being extra careful this trip. <laughs> it's lunchtime, so we're gonna see what kind of food we can find in Ulu Cafe. It seems like at lunchtime, it's mostly poke bowls. There's a couple sandwiches. They have a volcano cheese steak baguette. That's what it looks like right there. They also have some specialty flatbreads, some acai bowls, some snacks and kids meals. It looks like they might have some pre-made salads and sandwiches as well. Oh, look at these, the resort refillable Milani mugs. Well, we forgot about these resort refillable mugs because we went to Target and bought our own soda and water. <laughs> <laughs> this is $7. Remember where the other day we saw it for a dollar somewhere? Yeah. Wow. But this one's shaped like Mickey. And they also have an Alani themed popcorn bucket. It's $10, refill is $3. And you can see Mickey and his friends in the Lazy River. And of course, Goofy is up to no good. And Pluto, always being a good boy. And I think Ketcher's gonna get lunch at Mama's Snack Shop. Stop. Not shop, stop. I love the theming of this place where it has all like these stickers all over it. Do you think they would be mad if we left an Ordinary Adventures one? Probably, so we're not gonna do that. And I found Pixel. Last time we came to Alani, I ordered from here and I got the fish and chips and they were so good, but I heard that the coconut shrimp is even better, so that's what I'm gonna try today. And it comes with four jumbo shrimps, covered in coconut, deep fried, with french fries, and a side of like, I think, sweet chili sauce. I'm surprised that you only get that you only get four pieces, <laughs> but it's Disney, so they're big. They are, they are. I'm for sure gonna be full. Wow, this sauce is like a little bit spicy, like a way spicier than I was expecting, but it has that sweet flavor as well. This is cooked to perfection. There's not too much coconut. It's just right. I'm so happy I finally got to try this. So many people were like, I can't believe you didn't get the coconut shrimp. These are bomb. Let me tell you, the french fries are really good too. For like poolside fries, they're actually surprisingly good. Five out of five, amazing. So I honestly didn't know what to get, so I just went with the standard chicken fingers and fries. This is standard at any Disney resort. And then when we, we sat down at this table, I realized that there's a poolside menu that has a bunch of other stuff. So I probably should have just looked for this because there's like tacos, burgers, salads, favorites, flatbreads. Bunch of stuff that isn't at either of those locations. But uh, I like my chicken fingers, so whatever. So this morning we had breakfast in Makahiki, and then we went on the Lazy River right there. And then now we're gonna head over to the beach, right over there. So here's a look at the pool. We're not going there. We're going to the ocean. Finally, in the water. I'm excited. Yeah, Kitcher's been wanting to go in the ocean this whole trip so far. So. Yeah, so let's get to it. So this entire beach, like you can come here. You don't need to stay at Alani for this beach, but I think you do need to stay at Alani to use any of the chairs or anything. I think that's owned by Alani, but if you want to pay for parking, you can come down to this beach and just hang out, go swimming. We found ourselves some empty chairs. Hopefully it's not cold. The pool was like really cold, so I'm wondering if the ocean's gonna be. It'll probably be colder. Ooh. Okay, let's go. I love this because it's a man-made lagoon, so there's like breakers there, so the, it's very like calm in here. Yeah. I don't think there's much like sea life, so no sharks, no turtles, but there might be some fish in there. I don't know, it's very like murky water. It's not like that crystal clear, like, blue Hawaii water you're used to seeing. <laughs> it actually seems like it's a little bit warmer than the pool. It feels good. I'm just yeah. being dramatic. Like, we're here in the beginning of November for reference, and it is amazing weather. Like, perfect weather. Yeah. Do you want me to hold something? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's, like, holding... Oh, <laughs> it's, getting okay. okay. it's getting too high. It's getting too high. It's getting too high. You brought the pointing stick, I see. I did. <laughs> Up there, you can see the sun. Okay. 
right there. Okay. We're trying to take photos and like, we can't tell if they're turning out cool or not, but I hope they are. If they are, I'll insert them right now. Should I put this under and see if we can see any fish? No, I wouldn't do it. It's too murky here. Look how beautiful this lagoon is. I mean, honestly, with all these palm trees. And over there, I think, is a, a chapel. Beautiful chapel. And then, of course, hey guys, the very... You guys YouTube channel. Oh, thank you thank so you much! And then beautiful Alani. And then, of course, the Four Seasons. So, if you want to come into the ocean, if you want to go to the beach, mm -hmm. is everything that you want. It is. I love it. I could just, like, hang out in here all day. I've got a question that I would need help with in the comments down below. Is it socially acceptable to pee in the ocean? I know peeing in the pool is nasty. Don't do that, that's gross. Don't pee in the shower. But can you pee in the ocean? No, you can't do it. You can't? No. Why? <laughs> do you really want to be next to, if you're swimming with other people around, it's, I, I think it, like you need to be respectful of the other people around you, and that's kind of gross. Obviously, if someone were to do that hypothetically, I'm not saying that I did, but I didn't. That's why I'm having this question. Is that why the, it just got warmer no. over here? Shut up! You would have to obviously go away from anybody and do it. I don't think that's like wrong. Like if you're far enough away and you like make sure there's no like sea life down there that are getting peed on or something, like I think you're okay. I, I didn't do it. I'm just throwing out the question because we were talking about this and I was just curious what you guys think. He's no. team, no, I'm team, like, eh. I mean, if no one's around, what are you gonna, what's the harm in that, no? N-O. <laughs> Tonight we're going to the Blue Owl, and there's some dark clouds in the sky, so I'm hoping, let's, let's pray for no rain tonight. Look at that, it comes right off of those shoes. <laughs> and we gotta check out the hot tub. It's reserved for 18 and older. And it's right up these stairs. There's a lot of Japanese tourists that come here. So you see a lot of the signs are also in Japanese as well as English and also the menus at the restaurants. Ooh, this is nice. I feel, I feel like that's an octopus. You see it? There's the eye and there's the tentacles. I think you might be right. I'm either just like imagining all these animals now or I'm just really good at spotting them. By the way, I have my new Apple Watch and I just noticed I put it underwater. Watch this. I put it underwater and it went to like how many, the depth. Oh wow. It like knew that it was underwater. I think my old Apple Watch, I actually had to tell it that I was gonna be in the water, so it'd like turn on like the water oh, resistance. Oh, this one just does it automatically? Yeah. That's cool. The thing I like about this hot tub is it's like an infinity pool. It goes to the edge. And then there's actually another hot tub down there. And then over there is the beach. If you come back far enough, it looks like almost like that tub blends into the beach. How awesome is this edge? I, for, I honestly forgot. So there's nobody down below. So I think we're gonna make our way down over here. I'll kick this already over there. I like over here because there's like a waterfall. See your back and your head. Uh, oh. Nice. Oh. oh. <laughs> Watch out, people up there. <laughs> I think I see another thing in the rocks see? right here behind Kitra. I think it's a fish. Oh my god, you're right. Was that a cat? Oh, we found an Alani cat. It's a cute looking cat. Oh, hi. How awesome is that? <laughs> The cats of Disneyland and there's the cats of Alani. He's like, I keep the rodents out of Mickey Mouse's little hotel here. 
I thought I'd show this because there isn't any kids on it right now, but this is the Menafune Bridge. It's like a splash pad area that kids can play on. And you might even find a couple of Menahune hanging out. I see one all the way up there. So at Alani, they do have a shave ice shack and you can get a variety of shaved ice. They have a bunch of different flavors and you can get it with ice cream. You can get it with condensed milk. I would highly recommend getting condensed milk. They'll also put like Mickey ears on them. I honestly don't recommend that because they kind of just fall off. This is what happened to us last time. Yeah, they look cute though. So ours, ours this time, it just looks like a pile of, pile of deliciousness without the ears. Yeah, if you want it for the photo, do it for the photo. Yeah. But do, let's yeah. try yours. What flavors did you get? I got cherry, strawberry, and pineapple. Then I got condensed milk on top and ice cream on the bottom. I feel like the condensed milk really like is the winner there. Not the best shaved ice on the island, but it'll do. I got myself some lemon lime, some watermelon, and some strawberry. Not as good as the stuff that you'll get in the North Shore or even Waikiki. I feel like it feels more like snow there. Here it feels kind of more like a snow cone. And if you haven't had proper shave ice over on the North Shore, you gotta do it. But we're way away from the North Shore, so. Yeah, look at the beautiful background. Cheers. Cheers. Honestly, my favorite part is when it becomes like all liquidy mixing with the, the ice cream and the condensed milk. You can almost like slurp it up like. <laughs> it's good, right? You know what, we didn't have Mickey ears, but. Mine kind of looks like Mickey. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so I was gonna say, what, what makes this more magical is eating it on the beach. What is this right here? This has to be something, right? Oh, is it a turtle? Oh, it Cause is. Cause this is a head. Oh my God, it is. Good call. We finally saw our turtle. We finally saw our Hawaiian turtle. And now we're gonna go into the Kamaka Grotto pool. It has like a cool like infinity edge thing to it. It's gotten a little bit cooler out as the sun's beginning to set. How beautiful is this? How beautiful are you with the sunset in the background? Okay, well yeah, I know. But I was mainly talking about the sunset <laughs> and how this is an infinity pool. It's just like so incredibly well done. There's usually a lot of kids in here, so just to warn you, it gets a little loud. But coming out of the grotto is Kitra's favorite part. Look at that. So they have the infinity hot tub, but this is the infinity pool. It doesn't get any better than being able to be in here during that sunset. No. Ordinary Adventures pro tip, the perfect time to get a photo during the sunset. That's pretty obvious. Too bad at this pool. I know, but this pool, it, the photos turned out absolutely gorgeous. There's this little kid screaming. But you won't know that by looking at a photo. <laughs> if you want to see more from our Hawaii adventures, put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes JR, JC, Marlon, and FW. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next adventure. adventure. From paradise. Mahalo.